What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! All right, making their debut on the channel tonight! Tonight! We have Theocracy. Yes, indeed. How about that? Theocracy making their debut on the channel. This is a request from Juan El Lobo. Juan El Lobo wanted to see me react to this song by Theocracy called Laying the Demon to Rest. Now, to the best of my knowledge, I have not heard this song before. This does not strike a bell. It does not resonate with me in any way. However, there is always a chance I may have heard this song before and I just don't know it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a second. Wait a second. I know this song. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This was posted by Sturgios Flynn. And the video has 350,988 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Theocracy laying the demon to rest. Wow. Ha, ha, ha. Nine minutes and 37 seconds. Get comfortable. Oh, boy. I, okay. Um, like I've always said about long songs, I got no problem doing long songs, but they better be entertaining. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm just being brutally honest here. I am tougher on longer songs. I am. I, I my, Because... It's a longer song. You better keep us entertained. If it's nine minutes of mediocrity, it is not gonna get it's not gonna get nearly as good of a score as a two and a half to three minute mediocre song. I'm just being honest. Like if I got two songs, once two and a half minutes, once nine and a half minutes, they're both about the same. I will grade the one that's two and a half minutes higher than the one that's nine and a half minutes. I will. It's because it's it's you're making us suffer. <laughs> so, I will take suffrage into account. Absolutely. That's the truth. Anyway, all right, let, let's hope for the best here. Look, this might be mind blowing. I don't know, but we'll find out. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. I like everything I've heard so far, except one thing, and that one thing is kind of important. Um, instrumentally, I love everything that's going on right now. I love the fact that they're able to take the exact same riff, and by subdividing with the drums, they're able to make it feel like straight time, half time, and double time. I'm always a big fan of bands that can do that. Um, very nice job instrumentally. Guitars, bass, drums, keyboard coming in right there. 
after the for a nice little interlude breakdown right before it sounds like we're gonna go into something like probably a verse it'd be my guess vocally oh boy uh doing the vocal the way that was done it was done in the wrong place they should have come in during the hat it should have had the vocals come in during when it came into that halftime feel that's where the vocal line should have come in uh it was too long it came in too early it came in the wrong place it didn't make a whole lot of sense so i would have just moved it forward i, I would have held off on putting the vocals in for another eight measures when it got to that halftime feel yeah that's where i would have put it but anyway let's keep going here Okay, this next section I, I liked. I liked it, and it was just, it was a little more subdued. I mean, it still had the pulse. It still had the, the tempo was, was still there. Um, the feel was more of a, I, would, I don't want to say a dirge, but it was definitely a slower feel to it, like a slow feel. Still have the pulse, still has the drive, but it's slower, slower. You know, it just... But it was still there. It was still going. It it wasn't quite slow enough to say that it was dragging. You know, it, it was it was close, but it wasn't. It didn't quite cross that line. Um, the bass tone on that is I'm, I'm digging that bass tone. It's got the fullness at the bottom, but it's got a little bit of that edge on the top, which is really nice. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Um, just enough to make it kind of give a little bit of a percussive sound to it, which is nice. Now, overall, so far, so far, overall, I'm liking what I'm hearing. So, let's keep going. Let's see where this goes.
again, the use of subdivisions to make the exact same riff, the exact same tempo. Tempo never changed. Riff didn't change. Just the way the drummer is subdividing and, and, and laying down the pattern, he's transitioning from straight time to double time. And that whole last part was pretty much all in double time. And then they brought it back down into a straight time toward the end. Um, I love it when bands are able to do this seamlessly. And they're doing it seamlessly. I do think the phrases can be a little bit long, but I mean, it's 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 okay. You know, it, it's okay. I'm, I'm not mad. Um, it still sounds good. So, no worries there. Vocally. Um, I got no issue with, you know, vocalists doing that, you know, taking the Rob Halford, you know, King Diamond, you know, falsetto approach. I got no problem with that as long as it sounds good and it sounds clean. It sounds good. It sounds clean. It does sound a little thin, if I'm being honest here. It does sound a little, a little whiny. But, I mean, it's accurate. He's hitting the note accurately, so... I, that's really pretty much, you know, the most, that's the most important thing is he's getting the note on pitch and accurately. So tone could be thickened up, but, you know, it sounds good. It sounds good. Let, let's keep going. On that vocal part with the uh, choral background, I was getting shades of Camelot right there. I don't know about anybody else, but kind of reminded me of Camelot a little bit. It sounded good. I liked it. I liked that part. A uh, little guitar break, a little guitar interlude. Not a solo, just a little guitar interlude right there. And right as I paused it, it sounded like bass was about to do something, so I'm going to back it up just a tad. All right, let's see what they're going to do here with this bass. We've had almost a full minute of riffing. It's just riff. It's the same riff too. The same exact riff. Nothing taking that riff and carrying it. It's like, <laughs> all right, this will be a good equation for uh, sports fanatics. Like you, if you watch football or if you watch hockey or anything like that or soccer or whatever. So you give the puck slash ball to a player and they keep, Going east to west, east to west, east to west, to east to west, to east to west. And they keep running side to side or skating side to side or kicking side to side. It's the same player, never passing. He's just side to side, side to side, side to side. And it's like, okay, when are you going to move forward? You know, same thing here. It's the same riff. They're subdivided. The drummer's coming in. Great drum pattern, switches up to a double time feel, and uh, 
it, it sounds good. I mean, it sounds wonderful and all, but now, okay, you got this great riff. What are you going to do with it? What are you, what are you going to move forward with it? When is the song going to continue forward? We've done almost a whole minute on the same riff. So, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. That's going to affect the score. It's going to affect the score. Okay, now the song's moving forward again. <laughs> At, you know, towards, the, you know, back at the beginning of this phrase, it, it did start to move forward. They switched up the, the pattern into more of a, more of like a diddle it, diddle it, diddle it, diddle it, dun, 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 diddle it, diddle it, diddle it, diddle it, bop, 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 bop. Great cymbal chokes, by the way. Um, vocals came in, vocals took over, vocals took the wheel and started to drive forward again, which was nice. Um... The longer this goes, the worse it's setting with me, though. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, this song, if they had ended here, it would have been fine. But we're still going. And uh, uh, how much more could they do with that same riff? I guess we'll find out. Hopefully they do more with it. I'm glad they came back to that section. I'm glad because that was my favorite section of the entire song is this part. Um, they did it once and I was like, it reminds me of getting shades of Camelot. Same thing here. I wish they had done this again somewhere else in the song for maybe like a total of three. 
Um, but I'm glad they put it at the end so they can give it a nice, strong ending. So, speaking of strong endings, let's finish this up, shall we? I'll see you in the review. Well, there you go, folks. That was Theocracy with Laying the Demon to Rest. This was a request from Juan El Lobo. All right. I struggled on this. I literally sat here. No joke. I actually looked at the clock. I, I sat here for 20 minutes. No joke. I sat here for 20 minutes thinking about this song and how I was going to score it. Um... Based on everything I thought about, based on my first listen, um, everything I heard, taking everything into account, including the length of the song, uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that a 6.8. Yep, 6.8. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Start with the things I liked, okay? I liked the tone of the guitars. I liked the guitar tone. It sounded really good, thick, crunchy, sounded amazing. Bass sounded really good coming through. A little bit of, little, 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 little bit of gravel and growl on the top end of it, but very full bottom end, and that's what you want in a bass, especially in a rock bass. Great EQing on the bass. Drumming, solid. I mean, solid drumming. Everything the drummer did, I enjoyed. Um, fills were good. Runs were good. Setups were good. Everything was great. I, I loved everything about the drumming. Now, songwriting. Uh, let's talk about that. Um, they got away with it, okay? Look, the song was long, okay? Let's, let's call a spade a spade here. It was a long song, and there was a lot of times where the riff just went on for too long you know each section it it went on for like eight bars or 16 bars a little too long you know if they had shortened it up would have been nice it wasn't unpleasant to listen to um they did a great job of breaking up the monotony of that exact same riff by using proper subdivisions and feels to make it go from straight time to double time half time back to straight time they did a great job of that. I'm giving them all the props in the world for that. It shouldn't have been done so much because they had, but they had to. They had to out of necessity because the long went. The, the song was so long. Uh, they had to keep going back to the well and rehashing and going back into those fields again. They, they had no choice. It, could you imagine if they hadn't done those things? You talk about a boring song that would have been this now luckily all those subdivisions of the drumming really helped break it up um it wasn't anything spectacular from a songwriting end if if you take the drums out and you look strictly at the riffing that was being done on the guitar and bass it wasn't really anything all that impressive it wasn't anything all that spectacular it was pretty much the same riff there was like it was the same riff, and they had like two variations on the riff, and then they would do it for a little bit, but then they would, they would immediately come back to the same riff again. Um, vocally, I am not a fan of this guy. I'm not. I, I'm just, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not a fan of his vocals. He sounds good when he's in the lower range. He sounds okay. He's able to make his chest voice sound very full, very powerful, very projected. He goes up into his head voice, and it thins out. It gets weak instantly. And then when he goes up into falsetto, it gets even weaker. It, not weaker, but it gets thinner. It gets stronger. It gets more projected, but it's 
thin. It's very thin. Um, I am not a fan of this guy. I I'm not. I'm just going to leave it at that. I don't like his vocals. I don't. Um, I will say I did like that. I, I don't know if you would call it the chorus, but I'll call it the choral section. That choir bass section that reminded me of Camelot a little bit. I liked that. I wish they had done that at least one more time somewhere in the middle to kind of recenter everything again. But they didn't. They did it, you know, towards the beginning and then they did it at the very end. And it was like, ah, uh, you know. But look, if you're going to end, end with that. And I'm glad they did. That, that did help the score significantly, actually. So... That is how I'm coming to the 6.8. Now, what is a 6.8? Is a 6.8 a bad score? No. Here's the thing. A lot of people will equate a 6.8 to a 68 or a 68%, which in grade school means it's a D. No, this is not grade school, okay? 6.8 means pretty good. It didn't fail. It wasn't below standard. No, it wasn't anything like that. This would have been, like, if you were to equate a 6.8 for me, it would be, like, about a C plus. About a C plus, okay? So, it's a pretty good song. It, it, I'll tell you right now, if they had shaved about two minutes off of it, maybe, actually, I take that back. If they had shaved about three minutes off of that, I could guarantee you that would have been up in the sevens. Guaranteed. But because it was so long, and it dragged for so long, so repetitive, it was just like, ugh. When is this going to end? Yeah, I found myself looking at the clock for those last three minutes. I kept going, oh, God, are we done yet? You know, I was, I, I'm not going to lie. I, I found myself looking at the clock. So I take that into account. So a 6.8 is a pretty good score. It's not bad. It's not terrible. It's not horrible. It's not even okay. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Would I listen to this again? In passing, sure. I'm not going to put this on any playlists, <laughs> but if it came on, I wouldn't change the channel. I wouldn't change the station. I would let it play out. Sure. Why not? So 6.8 final score. I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of reactions, reviews, and rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, I did my job and I'm so glad I could do it. If you did enjoy the show and you would like to see more videos like this, feel free to join the fan base by clicking on that button down there. Yeah, you know the button I'm talking about. Click on that button, join the fan base, and become one of us. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't feel like clicking on that button, that's okay. I still respect you. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. It'll do me a world of good and it will do you absolutely no harm whatsoever. Finally, if you guys do join the fan base, you will find a bell down there that you can click on. By clicking on that bell, it'll keep you up to date on everything happening with this channel, including when new content gets dropped. So, if you want to stay in the know, click on the bell and you'll stay in the know. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Until next time, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later, peace.